and easily refilled and off you go. You've got your full Molotov chrome pen back in action again. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies and today I'm going to be talking about the Molotov pen. Now I've talked about these Molotov pens before and how you use them, but I've had a request on how do you actually refill them once they're empty. So let's have a closer look and I'll show you how they come apart. So from the overhead camera, you'll see I've got this particular, this is the actual pen as you buy it. Now that's the thin type one, which is the same as the one mil or the two mil type. We've got the refill here, which we actually sell most of these uh, for use for airbrushing straight, because you can pour this straight into the airbrush cup and use it. But this is actually intended for refilling the pens themselves. Now what I also have here is an empty marker. So the empty markers are actually easier for me to show you how they come apart. Okay, so how about I open this up and I'll show you what it consists of. Okay, so here's the cap. So the cap normally just pulls off. Now this one you can see here, this is the two mil. So it's got the broader tip on it. The one mil is basically the same type. So these just pull out because these are actually replaceable. The ends are the felt tip, which is where the, uh, the chrome paint is absorbed from. And then the end of the one mil just has a stainless steel tip with a, a finer end. Okay, let me zoom in and I'll be able to show you with greater detail what we're looking at. Okay, let's just shift those out of the way. All right, so here we go. I'm just taking the cap off it. You can definitely see the felt tip there. Quite easily pull this out and we'll pop it there. Okay, so all you have to do is undo the top. Okay, and let's just we'll rotate this. So it's pretty tight. Here we go. Okay, so that's fairly tight from the factory. This just unscrews. And you see how it's come apart like so. Alright, so we'll put this aside. We'll move the tip aside. Now what we have here is you've got an end cap and we have spring inside. This is actually the pump action for the refill. Okay, so as you pump this, it will allow the chrome to move through and it fills up on the felt and flows to the end of the tip. Now what we need to do is undo this section here. So that's a little edge of the cap. So I just put my fingernail in there and you'll see there's already starting to come loose. And there you go, this whole valve comes off. You can see the spring in there now. And that's it. Now if I put the tip in here, I'll just demonstrate how this valve system works. So when you, you press down on the tip, this is how it opens up the valve. All the chrome goes onto the tip and then release it and it stops the excess um, chrome from coming out. That's also how you get all the, uh, the chrome out when you want to pump it onto a surface and load it up on the surface so you can just get a little bit of the brush paint as well. Okay, so you just pump it a few times and it just starts flowing. Okay, but that's all you need to do is just a press fit. And then you end up with the opened up pen itself. Okay, so the pen itself is just a tubular reservoir. Now what it also has in it is a ball bearing for mixing. Okay, so if I do this, you see the ball bearing just pop out. There's a ball bearing. And that's it, so it's come apart. Now you don't really need to have the ball bearing out. You can leave the ball bearing inside. Just be careful not to lose it. And it's just a matter of opening up your refill. Has a fine tip on the end. And just refilling from here to the point that you like. It's probably worth mentioning that the empties are available because you can fill these up with whatever you like. You need to experiment, of course, with the different kinds of paints, but uh, water-based, uh, alcohol based, which is what the um, the Molotovs are, um, any types of acrylics. You can try lacquers as well because it feels like um, uh, polypropylene, so the lacquer shouldn't affect it, but you'll need to experiment because I'm not too sure how it'll react with the valve itself. Okay, so once we've refilled it, you've got the ball bearing in there, make sure the ball bearing is back in there. It's just a matter of getting the end cap. It just presses back, like so. Screw on the end. Make sure that's nice and tight, like so. And then you get the tip. Pop the tip back into place. 
you can see how you press that make sure that the valve is still nice and smooth put the cap on that's done so that is how you pull apart a Molotow pen and as I mentioned this is the thin ones the thick ones pull apart exactly the same way and easily refilled and off you go you've got your full Molotow chrome pen back in action again so thank you for watching